Yo yeah, everyone, what's going on? Ali Rodriguez Stolman here. It has been a long minute since I made a video, and in that time, Kanye tried to drop this album three times, and only now, without his permission, has it been released. Now, before I get to my review and my reaction to this album, make sure to go subscribe if you do go on to enjoy the video, and leave a like as well, because that just helps out the algorithm and stuff, and helps the video potentially get seen by a few more faces. So, you know, do that, that'd be great, cheers. Now, Donda. Um, it's all right. I think that's the best way I can put it. I don't really, like honestly, I can't give this album a lot of props just from a personal listen. I didn't like it. I'm never gonna go back and listen to it all the way through. Like this is one of the times like I genuinely wanted to listen to this album because of the whole hype that had been built up for it. But I kind of was, my kind of main reason I forced myself through the whole thing was just so then I could actually make this review on it. Because if I wasn't motivated to make this video, then I probably would have given up on the album about halfway through. I think I know the perfect way to describe the album though. It's not a great like Kanye album, it's a great Kanye soundtrack. Like I really feel like this album is really made and it's proven by the fact he's done three shows for this already. And I feel like if you've watched those shows, if you've been there live or whatnot, you're gonna have a bit more of a connection to this album and feel the experience that Kanye is trying to give. It feels like he really wrote this album and made it and produced it to enhance the experience that he was trying to provide during all those shows that he did wherever it was. So for that sort of sense, this is a really solid soundtrack, I would say. But in terms of me as a music fan for rap and whatnot and hip hop, it's got elements that I really do like, but it never fully feels like it grasps a hold of the stuff that I actually completely care about that makes me love a song. So if we take a song like Jail Will Go Part One, and you have Jay's verse on it. I love that bit as a song, and I even do love the sort of like melodies and sounds used building up, but like all of Kanye's bits just, it felt like he could have done more on it, and it's just always feeling like whenever Kanye's like speaking on his tracks and about to do something, for the most part, it just doesn't feel like it really gives much content it feels like it's more about the sound of it which is great but it's also like not what i expect and i think that's a massive problem i have with this album it's like any song that's got a feature on it is actually a pretty good song and the feature does the song justice but when Kanye's actually singing or rapping on it for the most part it just never really sits sits well i feel like like even for me like i was listening to this album and it's like i'm not someone to catch on like mixing or production values and stuff but kanye's voice whenever it was mixed in sounded really tinny and just didn't really feel right it felt a bit out of like it felt like it was a bit more out of the mix a little bit and just felt like he was in like a tin booth i don't know it just sounded really weird it might have been how he intended it but it just didn't really for the fact that i'm noticing it and it's like bugging me sort of says a bit to me or says something to me but i'm gonna try and like go through this right now um a lot of the album i found very repetitive and i know in some elements it's like kind of supposed to give that gospel thing and that feel for some of the songs and that's got a lot of like repetitive sort of don't know how you want to put it like chants i don't know what how to what to call it and when those repetitive bits are in use they're really powerful sounding it just doesn't they either go on too long or they just feel like they don't build up to uh like powerful impact i've already said this point but features do great on this album like Whenever there's a song and then you suddenly hear a feature, it feels like the track picks up and you suddenly really do enjoy the track. All the features on this album do the tracks that they're on justice. And sort of like speaking again about the whole Kanye, like when he's rapping or singing and whatnot, it just feels like he should just stick to production at this point. It feels like that is what it is, but it just feels like just get some more ghostwriters if you are going to say anything, because it's just like always feels a bit lackluster on this album whenever Kanye speaks. I feel like there was one, like there was nothing where Kanye said anything except from one time which i can't actually remember what it was right now like it didn't really feel as bold and as powerful as what kanye would normally do oh yeah my biggest gripe with this album so i feel like it kind of again emphasizes that point of this is a soundtrack and it's meant for an experience but this is too long i am sorry this whole fucking thing is way too long like I'm someone who enjoys like a long album and like I'm happy to listen through and sit for a whole two hours of like an album of music. I will do that, but never again with this album. Because like if I'm listening to an album that's let's say two hours, right? I want to enjoy each and every song and that'll get me through the two hours and make it feel like it wasn't a two hour experience. But when I am listening to this album and it's just dragging on and feels like that, it just like, it really bugs me and like, especially if I'm not enjoying it, it's gonna make it feel even longer than it actually is. And that's what I've really felt. And when it was over, 
I felt a sigh of, like I actually had a sigh of relief. And that's not how I want to be leaving like an album, especially a Kanye West album. And I think a good example of this is Jesus Lord. I actually didn't mind the like actual melody and the kind of hook of the song. I really actually liked it, but the fact you've got part one and that's nine minutes, and then you have part two, which is 11 minutes 30, it's just kind of like you're taking the piss here, especially when, at least from what I, said, what I heard, because I wasn't going to go back and listen to it, is that Jesus Lord part two is just part one with an extra verse thrown in there, or more of Kanye's verse put in. And I will actually say, I think that's my favorite track from Kanye on the whole album, like Jesus Lord part two. And I'm just thinking, why not just make that? Because of one, how long it is, just make it the final track and don't need to do a part one for it. Just make it the final track because I loved how it ended on an actual like important message with like this black guy who's actually been locked up and told he was gonna get like X amount of years but then just kept getting extended, extended, extended for no reason. Like that was a really good powerful point to leave the album on but my whole thing is just keep that one song, make it the final one and save people nine minutes from the first one when that's just what the second one is with a little extra thrown in. It just feels like this Jesus Lord part two is the fucking director's cut of part one and it's like you don't need it, just make it one song. Because essentially right there with a part one and two, you're making a 20 minute like experience of music and you did that pretty much with Kid See Ghost and Yay album, like those are pretty much I think they're over 20 minutes, but still pretty much I have better experience in both of those albums alone Which are nearly the same length as like a part one and two song It's just not needed for a part two and a lot of the songs themselves They drag on with that whole repetitive theme and it's just like Yeah, I don't know but Jesus Lord part two I actually really enjoyed and like Kanye's bit is probably the best like rapping of him or not even rapping just his storytelling and lyricism within that song I really enjoyed it and that was when the like the first time I started listening was on the final track. Like that's when I really felt like I could listen to the music and listen to what Kanye was trying to say and what he was trying to do, but it was just like, to get that in the final track just really hurt me. Oh yeah, weirdly, I got a lot of like, in this album, a lot of melodies and just sounds that felt like they were really recycled from previous shit. I don't know if that's just me or if it's like um, Jesus is King when I listen to that, if some of this stuff remind me of that and because they're very similar sounding with the gospel stuff and Kanye was trying to recreate some of that. Don't know if it was some in there, some stuff reminded me of um, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy sort of things or sort of sounds maybe, I'm not sure like certain on that but I do recognise a few sounds that are on this album that kind of like, I was like, has Kanye used this before? I don't know. But now I will leave it with some good points of the songs that I really liked. Um, and all, I'm pretty sure all of them actually do have features on them. Um, I find it annoying because Spotify doesn't actually tell you who's on the track, so I'm not going to say the features unless it's The Weeknd on Hurricane, because I can recognise that voice anywhere. I think Lil Baby was on that song actually as well. But Hurricane is probably the best song on this album for me. I really liked it. The Weeknd does what he did best. And also promoted his new album that's coming out, so good job to him, fair play. But I also really liked Off The Grid, Believe What I Say, Come To Life. But actually with Come To Life, that's probably a, like my one of my favorite songs off of this album because it feels like where Kanye is trying is what Kanye is trying to do like it feels like the perfect example of what Kanye is trying to do with his current style of music and it just feels like if there were more tracks like this one and did it perfectly how this track did it it would have made the album so much better and then there's also no child left behind which is really good but especially with the features on it but it just needed that little bit more from Kanye. And obviously as well, Jesus is Lord 2. I actually really did like that one, surprisingly, but yeah. And as an honorable mention, we'll say Jail Part 1 with Jay-Z. I really love Jay-Z's part on that, but, and I loved how Kanye did the sounds on that and how it like sounds overall, but it's just like, again, I just would have liked a bit more of a verse from Ye on that song to really completely it and make it feel like a real Watch the Throne style of song. So yeah, I feel like the best way to put this album is it's more of an experience and it's meant to be a soundtrack to show Kanye's experiences that he's done at the shows. And when there's like good songs, it's a real high and it's really well done but there's only really feels like a handful of them and when you've got about 27 songs and I'm only gonna pick out about five or six of them that are good, why are you wasting your time on the other stuff? And it just feels like kind of, like maybe this isn't the proper final album and maybe there was gonna be stuff cut from it and Universal were just fucking tired of Kanye actually 
releasing it than not or just saying he's going to and then doesn't um but at the same time i feel like this is the closest we're going to get to a final product of this album but if i'm going to be that guy to give it a rating out of 10 i'm going to say a five because the production is really high value especially with kanye and when there's a really good high it's a really good high but there's just too many lows on this album and i may even be tempted to give it a four if you watch the experience of it i feel like you're actually gonna enjoy this album a lot more but i haven't had that i'm listening to this as just the music by itself and i think without that experience it takes away a lot from this album and i feel like this album has a lot of potential but i don't think it was really what i was expecting and not to say that because i'm expecting a different sound doesn't mean that this sounds bad it's just that it didn't live up to expectations especially with how delayed it's been and how much hype there has been for this it feels like a lot of people who will like it they're gonna do it because they enjoyed the experience of it actually coming out rather than just the music so i feel like that's my thoughts on it really summed up like please let me know what you thought of it down in the comments i'm really interested to hear what people think about this album um because <clears throat> i feel like it's very split opinions straight down the middle and it's just very much like you either like it or you don't and maybe one day i will come back and just give it a listen to see what it's like but it's not like it doesn't live up there high in Kanye's discography and whatnot so yeah um also a little bit of um just regular channel stuff i might make a channel update video at some point about more things but um essentially one of the reasons i haven't uploaded in the past three weeks is just because i've now got a new job i might make a video just sort of talking about what i'm doing and how it's going sort of stuff but yeah i've got a new job and it's like proper sort of like nine to five type thing so it's very much like i'm not really as focused to make videos right now just because it's like time and like being worn out and whatnot after work but i'm still going to try and make videos every like like when i can but it's not going to be a promise of like one per week now like i was sort of doing over the past sort of month or so ago so yeah that's just like a very quick update i might make a more in-depth one soon but yeah anyway thank you for watching yeah, I'm no, I'm is back in it. i'm tagging in and this i'm feeling arrogant then you know i love you by and it. This is my proposal to the game, yeah Me and her are marrying, so no one else is carrying I'm in my dream world and I am rapping it Love it so much, I want to have it